Parks of Calm Waters Cloud Accounting, and I want to show off some of my favorite practice management app features. I use Financial Sense. I'm showing this to you, not just because I love the features in Financial Sense, but that I want everybody to love cloud accounting as much as I do, and a lot of that comes from your practice management app. And so I just, I'm showing you features that FC has, hoping that you have them in a practice management app that you're looking at or that you are already using, just so you get an idea of some of the fun things that make our work life and our clients' work life easier. So this is what the overall client, I call it the client card, looks like. Custom fields that then translate onto a dashboard where you can see everything of your clients. There are notes in here. Uh, files, super fun thing on files. You can drag and drop into files. And then when you do the drag and drop, you have all of these options once you open it, but you don't need to download a folder in order to do, uh, download a transact, um, what do you call it, a file, in order to look at it. I love that big user experience win. You can also drag and drop into here and they do have templated folder systems. Let's go back to the dashboard for a second. Uh, I want to show you universal search. I love universal search. You put in a couple of things and it gives you everything that that could possibly be. And then you continue to narrow it down. If you click on it, it will take you directly through to it. That is a huge time saver. Again, a beautiful user experience thing. Financial Sense calls it quality of life features. Let's go into what an actual project or workflow looks like. So this is the list. And then when you are in something, you can have descriptions, subtasks, you can have dependencies. So you can't do something until something else has happened. That's a strong one. It saves people from making mistakes. And also if you are using or wasting time, if you're using automation within the projects, it stops the automation if the things ahead of it haven't been done correctly and checked off. Um, oh, uh, let's take a look. Also, all of these lovely things in here, but I want this to be a quick video, so I'm not going to get into too much of all of the features. I just want to do my favorite ones. So, oh, this is fun one. How about this? It has a fun little confetti burst. There's one for the clients when they finish as well. I know it's silly, but it's kind of fun. You can turn it off if that's not your jam. Within the projects, there are automations. So let's say we wanted to let the client know that the books are done. You can see that I have set up an email that is ready to go. So I use uh, the, the client communications go like this, and I'll show you client tasks in a minute. If it is something I need the client to check off so I know they've done it, upload something, download something, or continue to communicate easily on a task, I use the tasks within the clients that can be automated. I'll show you those in a minute. If it is an email that I want to go out that most of the information is going to remain the same and maybe it's going to have a few little changes, you want to notify them of interesting things that happened at the end of the month, that would be an email template. But if you want an email that is exactly the same every time, it's just for information going out to the client, this is where you would do that. This allows you to customize the email um, and you can preview the email. You can, let's just see what it looks like to do that. So we want to send, we want to send an email. We want to select the clients. This is where we would select the email. This is where we can decide who we want it to go to and you can send it to all of them if you want. Um, you can also change tags there, but the email is the one that I really love. Okay, let's go back into here. So that's what it looks like for us in there, but what does it look like for the client work because that is super important to me. So we're over here on the client work and you can customize your upload location uh, if you want things to go somewhere other than financial sense. Reduces the friction for your client having to log into something. They still have to log in, I said that wrong, from having to remember to open something. This would automatically open, in that case, Dex in a new tab. So that would be super easy for your client. Add attachments. You can comment back and forth with your client in here on a task. When you add a new task, very creative, the name of that task. When you add a new task, it's set up to recur with project. But I love that you can untag it because very often when we're working on a client file, we get notes that come in that we have to add tasks to that month or that week. And you can just add it and not have it recur on and on with the project. 
manage notifications so you can set when you want it to go out, how many times you want it to go out, what kind of, uh, so you can preview what it looks like. You can customize what it looks like to go out to them, who it's going to come from and then uh, who you want it to go to. Soon enough, these tasks are going to, you can send individual separate tasks to separate people. So that's gonna be pretty cool. Um, when you go to do something, just like when the client goes to uh, upload and they uh, it takes them to Dext in a fresh tab, that's another user experience thing that um, I love. So keep an eye out for that. Tabs that automatically open so that you are not back buttoning to get back to where you were. And um, hmm, what else do I love? You would think I would have uh, a really set way. I've showed you folders, files. You've got files in here as well, drag and drop. I think I've covered it. There's so much to cover in practice management apps. There's so many things that I love about them all. And I hope this got you thinking about what some features are that are gonna make your day easier.